Putting dangerous streets on the radar new tonight. Clearwater leaders need your help identifying roads and sidewalks putting you in danger. ABC Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck is driving Tampa Bay forward with the changes coming soon to a treacherous street near you. Did you hear that? You know, and you just you, you cringe. You close your eyes because you know nine times out of ten there's going to be a big whack at the end. Just feet from Ward Seafood Market, Robert Cameron frequently hears collisions at the intersection of Bel Air and Martin Luther King. That spot on top of the city's radar for the number of car crashes. Blowing through lights and hitting another car and flipping cars over. A few miles away, Glen DaCosta bikes along another danger zone, Sunset Point Road. Definitely do not want to be on the street uh, riding your bike because it's not wide enough. But the sidewalks aren't much better. Many, like this one, end abruptly, forcing riders into the street. Over the past five years, there have been nearly 17,000 crashes in Clearwater alone, killing 52 people. Now Clearwater leaders want your help identifying flaws on the street, putting all of us in danger. It's exactly what led to changes here on Drew Street. After hundreds of people approached the city begging for help and got it. You look at the data and you're going like, wow, they're right. Clearwater leaders now hope with your feedback, they'll be able to make changes along dozens of roads. Changes they're certain will save lives. In Clearwater, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News.